Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy here. This tutorial, as well as the following tutorials, are going to be all about starting website development. The important things to keep in mind to code a website. And I'm going to actually show you how to code and what you need to do to get it live eventually down the road. But in this tutorial, all we're going to be doing is finding out how to create a very simple web page with a simple editor. Really, all you're going to be trying to do is go to the most recent downloads. And you can take it from there. Honestly, if you have any trouble, just go back to my tutorial on this. It's named um, Notepad++ something, but you can find it. Anyways, once you have that downloaded, we're going to want to open it up, and you're going to have a blank document just like this. Now, the only language we are going to be concerned with right now to do our coding is known as HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. To put it simply, HTML is how you put the content into your website, for the most part, at least simple content like text and so But more importantly, it's the canvas that you're laying everything on and it holds everything together. It is truly 101 when it comes to creating a website. Now let me show you a little bit on how HTML actually looks. It might seem a little bit cryptic initially, but trust me, before you know it, you're going to be understanding exactly what this looks like. And, you know, I'll just give... An example, if you've ever seen The Matrix, there's a scene in this movie where the main character Neo just gets released from The Matrix, has a short late night conversation with another character, Cypher, who's looking over cryptic code that's on the computers in front of him. Neo basically asks Cypher, you know, how can you read that stuff? And Cypher answers by saying, you get used to it. I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. It's the same thing with when you're learning how to code or program. When it comes to HTML and website coding, you know, let's just, this is Google right here. So let's just look at the coding that makes up this particular page that's rendering in front of us. And if we viewed the source on this page, which you can do by doing exactly what I just did, you can see that it starts with this little bit. Pretty much right here, you're just declaring what kind of doc type it is. And then this is the start of the website. But if you go all the way down to the bottom of the code, the very last thing that you were going to see is HTML ending. So this is the same, doesn't matter what website you go on to. If you go to my website, you'll get the exact same thing. View page source, and it starts with what kind of doc type it is. It's just a general doc type declaration and HTML. I'm specifying it. It's in English. And then it ends with HTML. And you probably have noticed that the previous one ended in body as well. This is pretty much saying that this is the end of the content. So all of your website's going to go inside of this. But you know what? Let's jump right into the coding ourselves and get to it. Because I'm sure you're wanting to do that. All you need to type in is doc type HTML. So after we declared the doc type, we would then start with our HTML tags. And these kind of tags have a beginning and an end tag just like I showed you earlier and they would look just like this. Now our whole website is going to be in between these two tags and then we would add in our body tags. Now again you would need two of these. There are certain tags for example the one up the top right here doc type HTML that do not need an ending tag but these kind of tags do. Um, you'll you'll begin to understand the difference. So continuing to add our, in our body tag. Now, everything that would be content, like I mentioned before, the whole page is within these two tags. Anything that would be content would be in between these two tags. So if we wanted to make something that would actually render on a website, we would have to do a couple of things because as you can see if we wanted to run right now and let's just say chrome it's going to pop up this site can't be reached because blah 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 so so what we need to do are two things and we would need to save this first so all this is actually just in a regular text editor which we should have already made this um you should first save your document as an html file however if we just go to save as and save it as anything you want, 
but just make sure that you save it as an HTML. So .html, and this will automatically format your code into an HTML file, and it's going to probably for you be a lot easier to look at as well. So if we were wanting to run this, let's go up to run and choose Chrome or something. Now our web page is working. There's just nothing on it. So it's a local web page and it's showing up and everything, but we don't have anything coded. So if we were to inspect it even, it's literally what we wrote in. So this is our web page, exactly what we have. Now, if we went back into the text editor and we wanted to put in a little bit of something that'll actually display something, we would need to use just another tag. And this is known as a paragraph tag. And it's a really easy one. And you might be able to guess it starts with P. And that's actually all you need. And the ending tag will be P as well in the same naming convention that we've been using. So I have no idea why that's capitalized. Anyway, um, so let's just say we wanted to say, hey, this is my awesome website. Now, what this is going to display is exactly what you would think, which is, hey, this is my awesome website. However, here's the thing that's important to keep in mind from the get go. The format of this, exactly how it reads from this exact code, if this is all that you have on your website will be depended on the browser and a couple other factors that you can fix or adjust if you wanted to. But let me get into this a little bit. The user's browser, the person viewing your website, is going to see this depending on how their browser is set up, essentially. So if their browser says, you know, we're we're going to put p tags in a certain size. Now, all we would need to do to test this in Notepad++ to make sure that it's working is save it and run it again. Firefox, Chrome, whatever. And as you can see, we have, hey, this is my awesome website. So congratulations, you now have a fully functional website. It just does not look very pretty, but that is for another tutorial. Now, in the next video, we're going to organize the content on our website, so definitely stay tuned for that. This is going to go over different things that will actually start to put together some of these things that we've been talking about in this video. Now, I know a lot of this might have been a little bit hard to grasp, which I totally get, but I'm pretty sure in the next video, you're going to start to understand, okay, how this is all working out, you know? So, hey guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. Hopefully I can answer that for you and I'll see you in the next video.